Let's see if that gets bought because the uptrend is really strong. Sudarshan Sukhani, Mitesh Thakkar and Prakash Kaba will take us through the market technicals this morning. Good morning, Sudarshan. Uh, your thoughts first. Is this dip, which is obviously indicated by the SGX Nifty and global markets, uh, is this a buying opportunity? Uh, uh, good morning. Uh, Anuj, I don't think this is a buying opportunity. My sense is that the markets have run up, run up, up a little more than they should have and they are now facing resistance at the same earlier levels of 10,900. So we are exactly what we were doing earlier, coming down to 10,300, 400 and going back to 10,900. So this uh, probably is a, a retreat from that resistance level and I assume that we sh could be moving towards 10,600, roughly the midpoint of this trading range. So the view for the short term for the next for today and maybe for Monday is that a drift towards 10,600 is possible. Traders may want to take this trade with a stop above 10,900, but uh, it's a, a, just a small dip, but it's there. Hey, good morning, Sudarshan. Is there something different for the Nifty Bank? Uh, good morning, Latan. No, I would think that Nifty Bank is also sliding towards 26,000. Mm -hmm. So it's not different. It's just outperforming for the last three, four days. My sense is that the outperformance may not continue. Okay, okay fair enough. Uh, Mitesh, good morning. Uh, how, how are you approaching the indices today? Good morning, Arun. So I'm not uh, as such negative, but yes, I think you know there could be a session or two of consolidation. That's what my uh, initial feeling is. So uh, we've hit 10,820, 830. We're indicated that is some kind of a uh, short term pivot i think that's been met and now i think you know after 500 points rally uh, some giveaway will happen the moving averages will catch up the price will also give a pullback to the short term moving averages so the levels which have identified 10750 because of the 200 day average and 10790 is the zone where the intraday averages are placed in case you break 10750 then i think we might drop by another 50 odd points but around 10700 i do expect some stability to come in so it could be a 3 4 day kind of range between 10,700 to about 10,830 and I still have more of slightly uh, bias on the positive side so around 10,720, 730 if we go there would explore buying opportunities. Okay, uh, Prakash, good morning. Uh, your thoughts on the index? Good morning, Anuj. Well, uh, I still maintain my yesterday evening stance that market has run up too fast. It's been around 500 points in three trading sessions. It's too much to ask for, especially on a Friday. Like I said earlier, in case it opens the gap up, could be a sell. So far, it may not open the gap up. What if it opens the gap down? Do you buy? Answer is no. Because it's stretched up so much, and if it takes out today's low, perhaps we could see lower levels to come. 10,750 on Nifty seems to be an okay support, as long as that holds, upside is on. But if 750 goes, then maybe in the couple of days, we could see some kind of a sideways action to bearish buy. I have a feeling that this is getting exhausted in the upper regions. We could see some selling pressure. We need to be stock specific. Bank Nifty again is too much stretch from 25,600 to 27,000. I think it's too much to ask for. Maybe we'll see some correction. Okay, uh, the SGX Nifty is seeing correction and all our experts are seeing correction. Let me come to the specific stocks. Sudarshan, uh, in, uh, very indicative, you have more sells than buys. Uh, that's right. Uh, a lot of the charts are not giving us any buying opportunities. Not, not for the large caps. So whatever we have is, I think that the holiday season is now coming upon us. Okay. So take it easy. Uh, the buys are much easier. Ambuja cement, the entire cement sector is slowly, slowly turning around. That process is really painfully slow, but it's there. So Ambuja is the buying for, for today. Then Biocon from the pharma space. I find that Biocon has its own paths. You know, rest of pharma does something and Biocon does something else. There's a positional trade in Biocon. So that's a buying opportunity. The rest are short sales. Short sales should be taken only intraday. But Ashok Leland is a short sell. Uh, the stock is now on the verge of breaking down and with carrying the same theme. Tata Motors is a short sell. Tata Motors apparently is really racing towards double figures. I just thought it may happen, but it's doing that. And the third is Hind Petro. Crude has completed its downtrend. So crude is likely to tighten up and slowly move on the upside. We'll see where it lands up. But Hind Petro is on the downside now. Okay, okay. that's an important theme that you're talking about, if crude will 
bottom out. Uh, yeah. Maybe that explains why India underperformed slightly other uh, markets this month. Could be, but let's see. For now, uh, mm. 60 is fine. I think mm. uh, we, we, we don't want 65, 70, 75 plus. 60 to 65 actually works. Uh, but, uh, no, no, I mean, I think even till 75, we wouldn't be that alarmed after all we've seen it. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. But anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, Mitesh, what's, uh, what's on your list? Uh, buys and sells? More of buys. Uh, Anuj, Wipro, I think, uh, managed to get past and close about the 335, 336 zone. So, uh, what continuation signals are there? I would buy with the stop at 332, look for targets of 356. Disclaimer, it's a recommendation to clients and I have personal positions here. Capital first, very uh, bullish candlestick pattern. Buy with the stop at 534, look for targets of 570. And Ujjivan is something which I would consider in case I get a pullback or a dip. So around 240 is a uh, good buying zone. 235 being a good support, keep a stop below 234 and look for targets of 255. Uh, one sell call that's on Sun TV where the indicator setup is quite negative. So keep a stop at 572, look for targets of 540. Okay, uh, well, we have uh, uh, some interesting cut ins coming in from Delhi where the Chicago Booth School is holding some uh, uh, talk, and that's Raghuram Rajan. Can we hear uh, or do we only get pictures? All right, so we'll get back to it. Uh, at the moment, it's only introductions that are on, so we won't disturb our uh, flow of technical uh, analysis. We'll get back to the event when something with respect to India or world trade happens. Uh, Prakash, uh, what are you trading today? Well, I see exhaustion, no doubt, but do I sell is a question, or do I buy? Not very convincing buys, not very convincing sell, so oh. I play defensive today, but all four buys. Okay. Defensive bets start with Gale. I think it can see a climb to maybe around 354 zones, stop below 340. I would look at Lupin. Lupin has a uh, negative news yesterday, it seems. But to me, it tells tell me that it's going up. So I have a target of around 870 on Lupin, stop below 820, should be OK on Lupin. Lupin is a buy. And I like Motherson Sumi, again a defensive bet, possible target on the upside, 166, stop below 157. And Friday, finally Friday, United Breweries looks good. Target 1300, stop below 1240. Okay. Well, uh, that's uh, some list of buys and sells. Uh, well, uh, uh, I wanted to ask you, Sudarshan, any individual bank uh, that. Uh, okay, I think we have a guest joining us. Uh, so, uh, uh, Sudarshan, I'll come back to you because I'm going to discuss exactly banks with our guest. Uh, the big story is that the Reserve Bank of India board is going to meet. And on the agenda was discussion about the prompt corrective action framework and whether it needs to be diluted. But whereas one was expecting dilution, yesterday we had a string of tweets and speeches from many ministers, tweets from Piyush Goel, uh, very hard-hitting ones saying that the PCA norms were fixed without any consultation and uh, uh, that, uh, uh, that they stifled growth, basically, the, uh, questioning the very existence of the PCA framework. Uh, Tamal Bondopadhyay, the consulting editor at Business Standard, joins us now. He's absolutely the best journalist on banking stocks. Uh, good morning, Tamal. Uh, I don't know if you went through the tweets. Uh, first up, something which is of relevance to investors and uh, borrowers. Does it look like they will do away with PCA altogether, given the ferocity of the opposition? <laughs> I don't know. You know, that is anybody's guess. But I can just point out two things. So one mm. is this. Yes, I have read about it that RBI board should have consulted, uh, you know, while re while uh, re revisiting the PCA norm in the recent past. So I'm not very sure. I think this is the first time we are saying that even the minute regulations need to be approved by the board. Mm. So that's one part. And second is, I'm just curious if suppose uh, we have right now 11 uh, uh, public sector banks under PCA and one tiny private bank. Mm. Now, had it been the, say, private banks under PCA, would the government have said that? Mm. I'm not very sure. So, because you are a owner, uh, you are uh, sort of suggesting, a, um, or if I may say, even dictating kind of stuff happening. But there's a clear conflict of interest. No? The regulation has to be one ownership neutral. So, I think as long as 70% uh, or close to 70% of the Indian banking system is government-owned, mm. this conflict will continue. Uh, and um, also, I, I just I'm just wondering the timing of all these, uh, yeah. you know, statements and uh, and and observations. This was this norm was changed quite some time back, mm. and there was a progressive like from PCA stage one. 
threshold number one to mm. two banks were uh, you know pushed yes. to threshold number two because they could not uh, uh, they they fail in meeting certain parameters so mm. on mm. so and this has happened in the I mean it's been happening so why suddenly uh, why suddenly all this kind of thing the timing part of it yes and finally mm. you know I'm also a little surprised. because if you remember mm. uh, reserve bank of india could have gone ahead mm. and asked the banks on its own rbi mm. is empowered to that mm. to take the defaulters to court mm. but it did not do so mm. it consulted the government yeah. and there was an ordinance yes. which uh, amending the rbi act empowering yes. us yes. so what what was the purpose of that the purpose of that was to demonstrate that rbi is not alone in mm. in in this job of you know cleaning up the system mm. the gover- it is solidly backed by the government mm. so that's the that's the that's the demonstration uh, both the central bank and the mm. uh, and the government wanted to uh, wanted to you know uh, tell the world mm. so that uh, so that a corporate india will not arbitrage between mm. central bank and finance ministry mm. or pmo so on mm. and so forth now suddenly why is this change i do again you know i'm just curious about the timing part mm. Okay, well, uh, I was also curious because this is April 2017 that uh, the rules were passed. Yes. And incidentally, yes. uh, uh, my colleague Ritu Singh, whom you know very well, uh, yeah. had actually broken a story of three letters written uh, between RBI and Finance Ministry <laughs> explaining the uh, prompt corrective action, Finance Ministry yeah. suggesting some changes, those changes getting incorporated. So this also yeah. seems factually incorrect and in time wise out of place. But more, uh, I mean, uh, our viewers would want to know what to expect today. Do you think given the frontal attack, we should expect more resignations? And by the way, PCA, I think, falls under NS Vishwanathan's uh, domain. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a that's a very tough question. You know, I I I'm, I can't be I can't okay. predict certain things. Oh, But right. uh, you know, the way things have been going, like Vishwanathan is a uh, is a central banker. Yes. So between Vishwanathan and Dr. Acharya, mm. if you see, actually it was the entire uh, whatever this uh, argument, counter argument, and the mm. eating of the thing was on the one hand these three gentlemen. Mm. Uh, because the things are falling in their place mm. it's not uh, mr kanun go and the other uh, yeah. uh, uh, the yeah mr the latest, jain yeah, yeah le- mr jain they are not involved so in mm. three so but can three uh, resign oma so mm. that's what happened one person had resigned mm. so i would like to believe i we might see we might see not in the not uh, not in uh, not immediately but probably in the near future mm. because both of them have and between the two i would like to believe mr vishwanathan she is because he is a central banker mm. so he would be probably i mean uh, he would be probably he would probably think and mm. think etc etc okay. but the dr acharya academician from overseas mm. uh, and you know he can just walk out any time i mean i don't know whether he will do that okay but i guess uh, i'll not be surprised mm. if he walks out okay All not right. today yeah. not tomorrow not after the board meeting mm. but maybe new uh, sometime later okay if you see historically you know when when dr subbarao mm. was appointed governor uh, rakesh mohan uh, left Yes, uh, you know, a sort of uh, in protest, mm. but uh, that was a completely different issue. Yes, yes. But he did not leave immediately, immediately I agree. because Superaw convinced him to stay put. Mm. And few months later, uh, 2009, mm. uh, Superaw yes. was appointed in uh, October, uh, sorry, September 2008. and to early 2009 oh, right. uh, dr mohan left all oh, right and i take your point uh, i don't think deputy governors will behave in a rush and will not want uh, the organization to suffer so they may stay put it is just that both of them have publicly stated support to that yeah. uh, piece and therefore it will be very awkward for them to scrap it completely and Absolutely. stay uh, in the position thank you very much tamal vanwadya for bringing a, a historical perspective as well to the event but for uh, viewers and the borrowers the immediate point is is it diluted how much is it diluted does the framework go away and therefore uh, you know will those who put that framework uh, want to continue uh, those would be the questions and i guess many answers will come in later today we'll take a break on that note Thank you.